Hey folks, Schneider here. Um, you know, there's been a, uh, been getting a lot of, well, not a lot, been getting some obnoxious uh, comments, which really tell me that there's a whole group of people out there that don't, don't understand something. Those of us who call ourselves patriots uh, believe that what we believe are truths that are self-evident. They're not whims, they're not flights of fancy, they're not, um, they're not suppositions, they're not uh, things that we are wishing were true, but down deep inside we secretly know that they're not. For example, we do believe that Swalwell, whether he knew it or not, was compromised by China, by a real, true, honest-to-goodness, legitimate Chinese spy. So therefore, we believe that him being on this uh, committee, having any power in the new administration, is either one of two things. It's either evidence of a new administration being blind and ignorant to the fact that this person was compromised and could very well have been sleeping with the enemy, as they say, or it means that this new administration knows that and welcomes it, which means they welcome China into our constitutional republic, which is something we don't agree with. Something we, we don't just go, oh, that's too bad. No, this is something that is, is fighting or uh, tearing at the very core of what we believe, honestly believe, which is our right currently, the United States of America is founded on. It's at the very core of what we are and what we believe we should remain. We also believe that the presidential election was not maybe stolen, but absolutely beyond the shadow of a doubt stolen. We believe the overwhelming evidence that we have seen, that we have heard about, we believe that it is an impossibility that a man who couldn't fill a parking lot could possibly have gained more votes than a man who could fill a stadium. We believe that. We believe that it's impossible for a man who stayed sequestered away for whatever reason during the most important parts of the uh, campaign trail could not possibly have won against someone or garnered more votes against someone who tirelessly went out and continued to fill stadiums. We don't believe that's logical. We don't believe it's possible. We don't believe it's mathematically sound. So we don't believe it. And it's not just sour grapes. We don't believe it, which again is our right. I'm going to continue to, I'm a little cold. It's cold out here. We just came from uh, Toad Suck Bucks in uh, Arkansas, Arkansas. And uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to post a couple of other things here that we believe and we don't believe. So, so that you know, my liberal friends, and some of you still are my liberal friends. From my from my point, I don't I don't care what you believe or what you think. I still love you, and therein lies some of the difference between the patriots and whatever the left. And I don't know what my friends call themselves because they they uh, they. Uh, they just haven't come up with a with a name. I guess they're just liberals, and that's okay. But like I said, 
I don't hold your beliefs against you. I don't ridicule you. And uh, I would appreciate, in the spirit of fair play and freedom, and I think I speak for all of us, we would appreciate um, mutual respect from your side. Doesn't have to be agreement, but since when did we have to agree politically to enjoy a beer or a cup of coffee with one another? This is a new thing in my lifetime, where you must agree, or you're the enemy. No, 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 no. It's part of what makes America great. Hold on to it, regardless of what you believe. Hold on to the fact that you can disagree in this country and still love one another. I hold that truth to be self-evident. More to come. Thanks for being part of the conversation. I'm chilly. Whew. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Bye. You know, I like truck stop coffee. It's my favorite. See ya.